Azaman Akadam. Welcome, students. In this lesson, we will explore effective note taking methods. Note taking is an essential skill for students, both within the classroom environment and outside of it, for effective study and information retention. Various methods cater to different learning styles and preferences. Here's a list and in class and out of class applications of some popular note taking methods suitable for students in various contexts. Number one, Cornell method. The Cornell method involves dividing the page into three sections, a narrow column on the left for keywords or questions, a larger note taking area on the right for main notes, and a summary section at the bottom. In class use. It's great for capturing lecture content efficiently, allowing you to note down key points and details during the lecture and then summarize the essence afterward. Out of class use. Useful for summarizing textbook chapters or other materials, facilitating active engagement with the content by formulating questions and summarizing information. Number two, outline method. The outline method organizes notes hierarchically using bullet points, numbers, or letters to denote main topics, subtopics, and details. In class use. Ideal for structured lectures where the material follows a clear, logical progression. It helps in understanding the relationship between concepts. Out of class use. Effective for organizing notes from multiple sources or for creating study guides that clearly map out the structure of the subject matter. Number three, mapping method. This method involves creating a visual representation of notes with the main topic in the center and related subtopics branching out. It's a form of mind mapping. In class use. Great for subjects requiring understanding of relationships between concepts, such as history or literature. It can help visualize connections during a lecture. Out of class use. Excellent for brainstorming essay topics or projects, allowing you to visually explore connections between different ideas and themes. Number four, charting method. Notes are divided into columns, each representing a category of information, making it easy to compare and contrast data. In class use. Suitable for lectures with content that fits well into categories, such as dates, terminology, and key concepts in subjects like history or science. Out of class use. Ideal for synthesizing information from multiple sources, summarizing research findings, or studying for exams requiring comparison of concepts. Number five, sketch noting. Combines doodles, symbols, structures, and text to create visually appealing and memorable notes. In class use. Engaging for creative students or those who learn better visually. It can make the process of note taking more enjoyable and the content easier to recall. Out of class use. Perfect for summarizing information, brainstorming, or creating visually driven study guides that appeal to visual learners. Finally, these are four tips for effective note taking. Tip number one, active listening. Focus on understanding the material, not just transcribing it. Tip number two, review and revise. Regularly go back to your notes to clarify, organize, and condense them. Tip number three, use technology wisely. Digital note-taking tools can offer flexibility and features like searchability and multimedia integration, but choose tools that support, not distract from your learning. Tip number four, practice. Experiment with different methods to find what works best for you and adapt your approach as needed. Remember, effective note-taking is a skill that improves with practice and adaptation to one's personal learning style and the demands of the subject matter. Thank you for listening. Azaman, if you find it helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, Azaman, like, Akadam. share, and comment. Azaman,